Oh yeah! Amazing! Amazing! Here we are. Um, let me let me say hello. Let me let me search for the document for the PDF. I should have. What was the name? Uh, I don't remember. The complete Mahabharata. This is it. Oh yeah, I think. Yes, this is. Uh, okay, I have this here. Now I need to move this from here to page. It was 36. I have not drawn. Yes. <sighs> okay. There we have it. Now, also, I should face some beforehand. This, uh, this, and over this, mm, this is now. Let me drop it once again. Oh my God, it is kind of properly dropped, kind of almost very very close, but not completely there. Let me, it was 150 zone, okay, something more like this, there is nothing on the margins of the page, so I could crop them a little bit more, uh, also like this, like this, Okay, now, finally, reading time. The only problem... Hey, I'm sorry. The only problem, we need to make a rosary of words because I don't... At this point I already forgot what pandavas mean. What kshatriyas mean. And I, I know Sanjaya is somewhere. No, I, I don't know. No, yes, 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 I, I, oof, 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 yes. <sighs> okay, time to, time to search for words, time to get them, and time to try and see if we can have a little bit of explanations about what is it that I am reading right now. Uh, I should have it around here. Uh, let me close everything else. Not related to stream. Uh, what I will do is here create text. Uh, uh -huh. New text document. Uh -huh. TXT. Uh -huh. uh, name. Change name. Uh, what is it? Terms for what? Terms for wait. Uh, terms for I'm I'm already sleeping. Uh, terms. Ah, no, cannot. That is okay. There it is now. Time to search for words. The first one we need to see is what what were the pandavas. Um, I should have it around. I will know. Yes. Uh, I will search for the. I will search for the terms. My what the fuck is that? For the terms on my phone, uh, character. no, Pandava, meaning, uh -huh. Pandu, the 
Descendants. Ah, ok, ok. Ok, ok. We have something simple. Pandava. Equals. Descendant of Pandu. Ok. Next. Eh, Shatrias. Eh, Shatria. Yeah. A member of the second of the four great Hindu castes. Ok. Eh, Shatria. Equals. Eh, Warriors, basically. Cast of Warriors eh, in the Hindu in the in the Hindu castes. No, in the Hindu what society? Society. Uh -huh. We have a red word. Eh, what? Eh. Okay, I think we have nothing else to, to search at least for now. At the very least, for this exact moment. Eh. There are, okay, there are. Inside, no more. Need. There is no more need to serve for two words. Okay. <coughs> now, time to go back to the real itself. Alas, I must pity Lantari, childless now, all her grandchildren slain, their parents, brothers, and kindred gone. Oh, her indeed has been the achievements of the Pandavas. They have recovered a kingdom and left no rival to challenge them. Alas, I have heard that the war has left only ten alive, three from our side and from the Pandavas, seven. That dreadful war has claimed eighteen Akshauhinis of Kshatriyas. Yes, yes, in the world. Uh, Akshauhini. Uh, I will. I will guess. Uh, yes, it is something related to an army, and it is a very specific number. So, what did it say? What did it explain? What an Akshauhini was? Uh, Akshauhini equals army. Huge army. Wait, uh, it has a very specific definition because uh, Google says, according to the Mahabharata, Akshauhini refers to an army consisting specifically of 21,870 21, chariots, 21,870 elephants, 65,610 horses, 109,350 horses. Infantry. Uh, what? Is uh, just in case I, I will I will write it down as it is. Uh, twenty one hundred. No, twenty one thousand seventy chariots. Uh, twenty one thousand hundred and seventy. Uh, Elephants? Elephants as in war elephants? Or they literally have elephants as. as as, as what? I guess war elephants or at the very least transporting elephants around. Horses, eh, 100,000, no, 150 infantry. Ok. Ok. Uh, it was here. 
En hij zegt ook Gerard dat de workers left only then alive, drie van from Morsair en van de Pandavas 7. Dat de rest van de warren has claimed 18 Akshauginis of Kshatriyas. Al slain, al around me is darkness, and as soon comes over me, consciousness leaves me, Sankhaya, and my mind is far from me. Sutta said, thus bemoaning his fate, the Hari. Heritarashtra was overcome by anguish and soon for a while. When he revived, he addressed Sanjaya again. After what has happened, Sanjaya, I want to put an end to my life at once. I find not the slightest advantage in preserving it any longer. Sutta said, Sanjaya, why son of Gavalha, Gavalgana? Now interrupted the distraught Lord of Earth, who lamented thus and sighed like a serpent, repeatedly thanking words of deep import spoke Sanjaya. You have heard, Orhan, of the mighty men of Umer's valor, spoken of Vyasa and the Rishinarada, Kshatriyas born of royal families, splendid with every quality, versed in Astra's white Astra. What is an Astra? Uh, astra Hindu meaning. Stop, stop there. Uh, astras. In Hindu meaning, an Astra was a supernatural weapon presided over by a specific deity. Okay. Uh, shut up! Let uh, me. Something like. Astra. Uh, in Hinduism, an astra mm, was a or astra equals supernatural weapon pres, presided over by a specific deity. Okay. Uh, of wait, what is the I search for Astra. Should I search for Rishi Nara Narada taking into account that also I also don't know what a Rishi Narada is because it said the Rishi Narada as if I as if I were supposed to know what a Rishi Narada is. It isn't a, a personal name like Yasa. So yes. Eh, Rishi Narada, Narada, eh, Narada, o Narada Muni, eso es, eh, uh -huh. eh, Narada, ¿Qué? Oh, powerful es Narada, Narada Muni, no, I am searching for, I'm searching for Rishi. Rishi, what what is a Rishi? Uh, philosopher Rishi. A holy. Uh, ah, okay, okay. It is like a the sage. And and Narada, what it means? Uh, what? What? Rishi Narada and Narada Muni are basically the same definition. And both of them, uh, regenerada slash narada one equals uh, divine sage. Right, uh, moderation, moderation, uh, saint, or inspired uh, individual. But wait. Narada. Narada was was also a category of the case in the in the Hindu society, or it isn't. I I have wait. Let me look at this. Wait, there it is. Uh, no. Okay. A very very fine uh, guitar noise. Uh, Rish Narada. Astras like Amsas, Glorious like Amsas. Uh, there is another word. 
Vamos ya. Vamos ya. Vamos ya. Ese Solar Deity. Yeah. Like Amsas. Amsa refers to the corner note or the keynote also. Uh, it has like a, a four different meanings, I will guess, in this case, because it says Indra later on. What? I. Oh, I don't completely understand, but anyways. Once again, uh, you have heard, O oh, Rajam, of the mighty men of immense valor, spoken of by Vyasa and the rich Narada, Kshatriyas born of royal families, splendid with every quality, versed in astras, glorious like Amsas of Indra, men who conquer the world with Dharma. Okay. Okay. Dharma. Eh... means right right weight of living uh, one second dharma equals right way of living uh, well yeah the, the shortest way to say it is right way I should need a more explanation for myself. <sighs> Let's go once again. Here. Uh, glorious like Amsas of Indra, men who conquer the world with Dharma and perform sacrifices with offering to Brahmanas. Yes! Time to stop once again. Uh, Brahmanas. In Hinduism, Brahman cannot connotes the highest universal principle, the ultimate reality in the universe. Brahmins and Brahmanas. Uh, there is a difference between a Brahmin and a Brahmana. Yes. What is it? Do you want to tell me? Brahmin came from the term Brahman, which is a magical force. The name Brahmin was given to the first trained priest who held a sacrifice after the end of the Vedic period in 1000 BC. The term Brahmin became universally known as the term for all members of the priestly caste. Uh, and what? Yes. What is the difference between a Brahmin and a Brahman? Oh, Brahman. No. <sighs> There is... Okay. It, uh, wait. Okay, it, it has two meanings, basically. Brahmanas... Uh, and perform sacrifice with offerings. No, in this case it, it is talking about those who... Uh, are of the... Priest. Uh, because it has another meaning that it isn't that isn't the one being used here. Uh, Brahmin, Brahman, Brahmana equals Castle uh, priests, and also e equals. Um, Wait, what? In the history of yoga, the Brahmanas are also an ancient Indian de... No! Me... Fuck! Uh, why don't... I don't care. I will only use this one. Upanishads. Brahman, uh, what? In the Upanishads, the Supreme Exist. Okay, Brahman is a very, very widely used term. It has like so far five different definitions. Uh, 
Yeah, divine knowledge. Let's see. <sighs> okay, next. <gasps> now, time to go back to here. Uh, well, at this point, why don't I directly restart the whole paragraph? You have heard our Russian of the mighty men of the members valor, spoken of by Yasa and the rich Narada, Shatriyas born of royal families, splendid with every quality, bears in Astras, glorious like Amsas of Indra, men who conquer the world with Dharma and perform sacrifices with offerings to Brahmanas, who having obtained renown in this world, at last succumbed to them. Such such men were Savya, the valiant Maharata. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't have Maharata here, please. <sighs> I have Harata. Harata. Maharata meaning. Maharata means something in. Uh, Ah, ok, it is basically the same as... No, Shatriya is used for those who are directly on the... Those who were born in the case of warriors. Uh, Maharata... Uh, Maharata... Is used for those... Uh, warriors... Outside... Shatriya caste or those of higher eh, importance, no eh, notoriety. Let's say. Eh, okay. Now, as I am here, such men were Savia, the valiant Mah Maharata, Sarinjaya, great amount conqueror. Suhotra, Rantideva, and the magnificent Kakshivanda, Balhika, Damana, Saryati, Ahita, Annala, Viswamitra, Destroyer of Foes, Ambarisha of Matless Strength, Maruta, Manu, Ekshivaku, Gaya, and Bharata, Rama, the son of das Dasarata, Sasabindu, and ba what? Bahirata, Kritavirya, the fortunate, and Hane, no, Hanamehaya, Yayati of Undol Punya, okay, Punya, eh, Punya. Definition Punya is referred to as good karma. Eh, where? Eh, Punya is referred to as good karma for a virtue that contributes contributes benefits in this and the next field and can be acquired by appropriate means and also accumulated uh, and it is the same definition basically uh, punya punya equals uh, good karma Uh, anything else? No. Uh, so basically here. The ayati of Undurpundia who perform Mahayagna fucking uh, Mahayagnas. <sighs> Mahayagna. <laughs> Mahayagna. Is a Sanskrit compound consisting of the term Mahanyagana, great or chief sacrifice. What? Chief sacrifice. Chief. Why chief? I understand great sacrifice. Chief sacrifice? Uh, Mahayagana equals great sacrifice. Uh, so, ah, Maha. Maha means great. And. Yagna, uh, it is said uh, literally on the other definition I found. Yagna refers in English to any ritual. So, uh, 
let me write it down just in case yeah no right uh, sacrifice slash return the right sacrifice slash return uh, okay once again, the idea of the Pundia who performed Hayagnas in which the Devas themselves assisted him, and by whose bodies and just in case Devas. Devas Oh, I, I, before I said Devas were the, the demons, it seems Devas Any kind of uh, deity, deity, uh, next, uh, berries <sighs> Vedis, as a girl's name, is of Sanskrit origin, and the meaning of Vedis is wisdom. Vedis, equal wisdom. Uh, with, uh, Vedis and Stampas. Stampas. Stambha is a pillar or a column employed in Indian architecture. No, uh, Stambha Sanskrit uh, refers to a tree without a trunk. According to the second chapter, mm, Trajanti Varga of the 13th century, Rash Nihantu or Rash Nihantu. Uh, no, I want uh, in Buddhist. No, uh, Stambha, Stambha. General definition. Uh, Tooth. What? What? But uh, it means uh, trans. Yayati of untold punya. So translation of this. Yayati of untold wisdom. Who perform? No. Punya. What? At this point, punya means good karma. Uh, Yayati of Untold Karma, who performed uh, great rituals in which the gods themselves assisted him, and by whose uh, knowledge, no wisdom in this case, and Stambas, this entire of whom. Stambas, what? Uh, pillar. It cannot only mean pillar. Oh, yeah. 31 definitions. Here we go. Uh, In Hinduism, Stamha refers to immobilizing, immobilizing others. It's a city. Uh, in this case, it isn't a supernatural power because wisdom and Stamba, no. Uh, The other definition is one of the 80 involuntary states. These involuntary states are the consequence uh, arising from the inner nature. Uh, the term is used throughout Natsa Yastra, uh -huh. paralysis, uh, no, Purana and Itihasa, Stamba, one of subtarsis uh, of the man, no, uh, other definition, son of, of Parvasa, eh, no, chief, no, stamba, sage, no, pillar, no, eh, refers to an aspect of Nrasimha, yeah, no, science of life, uh, fixedness, uh, this is the one that seems the most appropriate here, uh, Whose knowledge and fixedness, rigidity, torpor, paralysis, stupefaction. Uh, 
Batman y su rastaño del juego de repente cae esa rehabilitación de un estrella que ha un patrón de evolución eh, al fondo de pila ok ah ok están bases basically also a way to refer into the, um, the Hindu relation to the what it uh, how the interpret this uh, the basic or the fundamental qualities of the what uh, word is stamba stambas uh, equal a pillar of fundamental principles principles right mm. Yes. Uh, yes. So once again, <sighs> here, Yayati of Undor Punya who performed Mahayagnas, in which the devas themselves assisted him, and by whose bodies and stampas this entire bumi Earth, okay. This one was easy. Uh, one equals Earth. Uh, fucking God, once again. The idea of Antol Pumia who performed Mahayagnas in which the devas themselves assisted him, and by whose bodies and stampas this entire bumi with her people and humanity. Un, un inhabited, ah, okay. un inha, un inhabited realms is marked. The Devarishi Narada spoke of yes and no. I don't have that, right? Yes, I don't have it. Devarishi Narada. Let's search Devarishi Narada. Devarishi Narada, uh -huh. someone who is enlightened, Devarishi means Rishis. What the fuck is a Rishi? Uh, sage. What? 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 Basically, it means something like. The what? A sage among the demigods. What? Uh, the, the sage amongst demigods. Who is also sage? Uh, what? I spoke of these 24 kings once to Sabia when the king grieved over the loss of his children. Uh, The demigod sage, basically. The Rishi Narada means something like demigod sage, I will assume. So, time to continue. My said this, other rajas have gone for. Rajas. Beside this, what? Other passions had gone before, still more powerful. Maharatas of noble mind resplendent with every worthy quality. Puru Guru Yadu Sura and Biswarava of great glory. This is going to be a compilation of names. Uh, 
Yeah, I almost have a page of names. Oh, I want that. I I want search for them. Rajas. In this case, let me continue. Besides these other rajas have gone before, still more powerful. Maharatas of noble mind, resplendent with every worthy quality. Puru, Guru, Yadu, Sura, and Biswarva. Which Biswara fucking god. And Biswasarava of great glory. And Unha Ivanas. Ivanas. Well. Oh my god. Ivanaswa, Kukacha, Vikrami, and Rahu, Vijaya, Vitihorta, Anga, Baba, Soeta, and Vripadhuru, Usinara, Satarta, Kanka, Duliduja, and Druma. What? Tan, tan Jobdaja, Para, Vena, Sagara, Sangri, Tianimi, Ajeya, Parasu, Pundra, Sambu, and Holiday. Deva Vidra, Deva Huya Sopratika and Brihadrata, Mahatsaha, Miditatma, Sukratu and Nala, the king of the Nishadas, Satyabrata, Santa Ojaya, Sumitra and Subala, Sunuchan, Wat, Sanuchangya, Anarangya, Arka, Prevaritia, Chuchi Verata, ba, Chuchi, Chuchi Verata, Balabanju, Nirmada, Ketus, Ketus and Berita. Hm? Beritba, the entire Rita is al rey, and Beritbala. Trista Ketu, Berik, Berija. Ketu, Gripat, Gripta Ketu, and Niramaya, Avikshi, Chapala, Durta, Kritabandu, and Drihestuji, Mahapurana Samhaya, Pratyanga, Paraja, Sru, and Sutre. Finally, these old Russian and other kings who here enumerated in hundreds and thousands and still others in millions, princes of power and wisdom who renounced abundant kingdom. Why didn't you say here a uh, definition? Why didn't you say Betty? Why didn't you say Betty and instead use the English word for it? Why? Why do you make me create a glossary of words that you are going to ignore? Who renounce the abundant kingdom and pleasures and the dead just that your sons have done. Their dharma, valor and generosity, their magnanimity, faith, truth, purity, simplicity and mercy have been recorded for the world by holy Pauranikas of bygone age. Pauranika. Yes. Pauranica, Pauranica, word. Pauranica. Pauranica. Pauranica means what? Ah, holy Pauranica, le basically a uh, secret text. Uh, Pauranica. Pauranica eh, Legend eh, So Here Their Dharma, Valor and Generosity Their Magnanimity, Faith, Truth, Purity, Simplicity and Mercy Have been recorded for the world by the Holy Pauranicas of Bygone Age Men's Of Red Yana Another word with the same definition. <sighs> Yana equals knowledge. Men of great knowledge. Here. 
the windows with every noble virtue they yielded up their lives your souls were malevolent inflamed by passion greedy and evil your verse in the shastras do you have shastras do you have to search for the shastras 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 Mm. Okay, rules. You are versed in the rules. Shastras, rules. So here, you are versed in the shastras of Bharata and are intelligent and wise. Those whose hearts are guided by the shastras never succumb to misfortune. You, O Kshatriya, know both the kindness and severity of fate. This anxiety for your children does not become you. It does not befit you to grieve over the inevitable. For who can avert the what? Who, for who can avert the dictates of ineluctable fate? No one can escape the path marked out for him by providence. Existence and non-existence, pleasure and pain, all have time as their root. Time creates all things and time destroys all creatures. Mm -hmm. Here, it is time that burns living beings and time that extinguishes the fire. All conditions of the evil in the three worlds are caused by time. Time could short all things and creates them anew. Time is awake when all other things sleep. Time cannot be overcome. Time passes over all things without being slowed by any. Known as you do, that all things past and future would, and all that is in the present moment are children of time, it does not befit you to cast aside your reason. This is, this is a great paragraph. Uh, I am already kind of very tired uh, from compiling every single word that uh, is. I was going to say. It has no translation. It is a false statement. There are a lot of words here that can be completely translated. This is kind of a... I, I don't know. This is this is kind of meaningless to, to see that you are going to translate something and do like 20% of the word or left 20%, 30% of the word work. Why? Because you thought, oh yeah, you know what? I will insert my own language word skills instead of using those from the language that I am going to translate it. So I don't know. <sighs> so this said to Sanjaya comforted the king Haris Haritarashtra, overwhelmed by grief for his sons and restored so calm to his mind, and using these arguments of Sanjaya for his subject. Doipayana composed a holy Upanishad that has been given to the world by learned and holy Pauranikas in the Puranas that compose. I think I, there are like three words here. Upanishad, Pauranikas and Puranas. I know I have at least one over uh, here in the glossary already. Pauranika, legend, uh, Purana. I don't have Purana, I don't have Purana, but Upanishad is also a kind of sacred text. Why is, why do they have five different, six different, seven different words for the same thing? Upanishad, Shastra, Pauranika, what? So, a holy text that has been given to the world by learn and holy lessons in the Puranas, in the histories, in the... <sighs> okay. Upanishads. Let's, let's take a deep breath and start searching once again. Upanishad means Sanskrit term Upanishad or original event connection or equivalence. But came to be understood as, as sitting near a teacher. What? Wait. What? <sighs> 
the most common meaning is Upanishad equal sitting near a teacher, the holy sitting near a teacher that has been given to the world by learned and holy lessons in the Purana. What is Purana? Now, Purana, Hindi meaning, yes, Hindi meaning. Uh, Purana. In the, the what? The what? Ah, okay. It, it, it has different kind of uh, terms. Old, ancient, uh, histories. Meets less of oh my God. So, Puranika, lesson, Purana, lesson, Upanishad, lesson, this is painful, once again, let's go all over again, Satisheptus, Sanghaya comforted the king, Haristarastra, Overwhelmed by grief for his souls and restoration came to his mind, and using his arguments of Sanghaya for his subject, Dolpayana composed a holy legend that has been given to the world by learned and holy histories in the annals. They come. What is this? In the, in the Purana. What is Purana in this case? In the Those kind of uh, sang uh, histories. Uh, let's go with that. In this case, the study of the Mahabharata is an act of pity. Piety. What the fuck means piety? Uh, piety. At this point, I don't even understand English. Piety. Pity. Piety. Piety and pity is the same. Literally the same. Why? Okay. Ah, the study of the Mahabharata is an act of pity. He that reads a mere foot of it with faith has his sins washed away entirely. Here, Devas, Devarishis, and Immaculate Brahmarishis, Punya, have been spoken of. Likewise, Yakshas and Great Uragas, Tenagas, Let me, let, me end the, let me end the paragraph. Here also the eternal Vasudeva, possessed of the six attributes, is described. He is the truth and just, the pure and holy, the eternal Brahman, the, the Paramatman, the constant light, whose divine deeds the sage recount, from whom the, ma the manifest and unmanifest universe, with its principles of generation and evolution, and birth, death, and rebirth issue. That which is called Atiyatma, the sovereign spirit of nature, that partakes of the attributes of Panchama Huta, the five elements is described here. Atiyatma has also been called Purusha, being above such names as we manifest and the rest. It is also that which the greatest Yatis, who are exempt from common destiny and endowed with the power of Dhyana and tapas, behold abiding in their hearts, rather like a reflected image of an inner mirror. And you know what? I will search for all these terrors, Yaksha, Uraga, Naga, Paramatman, Ad, no, I, 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 just in case I will search for Adhyatma, eh, eh, what other Yati, Yana, Tapa, and after I'm done with that, I want to continue reading for today. I already uh, have written like, let me check how many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20 terms already, and I have still to write. 
Hang out there, how many? 20 more. No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have like 7 terms. And all I can say, these are words that can be completely conveyed with another translated word. Why the fuck did somebody decide to not translate the text, but rather leave fucking words spread all around instead of really... Oh yeah, you know what? I, I will do the worst work possible. I... I it isn't... <coughs> Let's go. Yakshas first. Yakshas means Yakshas. Yaksha. Any of a class of nature spirits or deities who guard places or treasure. Uh, Warden uh, Wardening spirits. Uraga, next. Uraga equals uh -huh. snakes. Snakes. Uraga equals snakes. Why? Why don't you? Do It literally has one and only one translation. Why? Why did you do this? How is it that somebody said, you know what? I will literally not translate. I will leave words all around that has literally a one, exactly one word translation. Nagas, I am completely sure it also means Uraga and Naga are both snake definitions. <sighs> Nagagorus is from the Hindi, Hindir, Hindu, India. Something like that. Uh, I don't know. Just in case, at this point, I will just search Vasudeva. Vasudeva. In the Vedas. Vasu means to reside. He is here also the term of Vasudeva. Uh, Vasudeva means the one who resides and shines brightly in all, including gods or devas. Ah, Vas... Ah, Vas... Oh, no, what? Vasudeva... Wait. Vasudeva is, is also a name that is given to Vishnu, no? Uh, Krishna... Uh, It has 50 definitions. No, that's it for today. I am not going to skim through 50 definitions to find to find which one is it. Uh, happy, happy reading. I, I hope whatever it is you are doing goes completely fine. I hate this book right now, and I won't even try to continue reading it. At least for today, I didn't advance more than one page. You know what? We are not doing this today. <sighs> oh, fuck yourself, my